This question stirred up a whole lot of controversy online. It comes from Stephen Hill, who is a soldier serving in Iraq. In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was because I'm a gay soldier and I didn't want to lose my job. My question is, under one of your presidencies, do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military? We got married in Washington, D.C. at the grave of Leonard Matlevich. He was a, a gay veteran, a Vietnam veteran, who was one of the first people to publicly announce that he was gay, and he got discharged for it. His gravestone reads that the army or that the military gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one. This guy died trying to defend his right to be a, serve in the military, and when he died, he had no idea that one day he would people would be able to get married at a, you know, let alone you know be on leave from Iraq. The reality hit when we were at the airport and we had to stay a few hundred yards away from where all the soldiers were gathering, we're hiding underneath of an escalator to say our goodbyes, we're trying to collect ourselves so that way when he walks out from underneath an escalator in uniform that, you know, people don't question what was he doing, it, it, it's pretty nerve-wracking. We're just basically questioning the constitutionality of DOMA and we're, the, the ultimate thing is that DOMA... The Defense of Marriage Act. Defense of Marriage Act. It prevents the army from uh, recognizing our marriage and you know, that has a lot of consequences. It has uh, housing. It, there are a lot of different benefits that we're missing out in our marriage. But it also has a consequence that Josh and I were talking many times on Skype. There would be a mortar that would go off, and I'd be like, I have to go. You know, some, we just got mortared. And, you know, I thought one day, if something happened to me or for him, if, if he had died while I was in deployment, they wouldn't have necessarily given me emergency leave to come home and bury him. And I mean, that's one of the things that people don't realize that DOMA pro prohibits our marriage from being recognized. And if that's, you know, not recognized, then he's not an immediate family. So I might not be able to come home on emergency leave for a friend. You know, honestly, I don't want it to ever be about me. I want it to be about all the gay uh, servicemen and women that are serving and I, just the respect that all service members deserve. So, I mean, whether it be that I'm an icon or not, I, I want it to be always about them, not about me. This is about all those people serving.